Hello everyone. Today I am presenting divide and conquer technique, especially for beginners. Beginners they have a lot of difficulties during their initial learning period, and they have a lot of queries as well as to how to do the steps of surgery in a manner that they don't land up in complications, and they are able to do the surgery completely and successfully. So what I recommend for beginners initially is that you should be very selective in your case selection. Try and select grade two cataract for your initial surgeries because grade two cataract are the cataracts which are not very hard and you can actually emulsify those cataracts and hold them whenever you require to hold them to chop. Rexis is a crucial step in all phacoemulsification surgeries so you have to be very careful in your rexis because when you are a beginner there are chances that at times you land up with complications so if you have a intact rexis then there is always a chance to implant the IL in sulcus so whether you are comfortable with utratas or with cystitome your rexis should be perfectly fine because that is again one of the prerequisites for doing phaco and once done with rexis you do hydro and dial the nucleus and in soft cataracts you sometimes have that cheese wiring so what i would recommend is the tap technique which i recommended in one of my videos through which you can easily dial these soft cataracts so my feco probe is inside the interior chamber and i would be making a long and thin trench so why long and why thin because the long trench you are making is basically covering almost through and through the length of the nucleus and why thin because that becomes technically easy to crack this nucleus. The depth of the trench should be almost covering the 70 to 90 percent of the nucleus and you should appreciate that glow and now you can see it was so easy to crack this nucleus into two. Now after rotating it almost 90 degrees I had made another trench in that half portion of the nucleus and I have divided it again and now the other half is left I would be repeating this procedure again and I am making a small trench and then dividing it mechanically into two with the help of chopper and peco probe itself and the settings in all these peco remain the same which I have discussed in my previous videos. And once you have made these four pieces, now you can see with my FACO probe in FACO 2, in foot position 2, I just aspirated that piece out into the central safe zone and then in foot position 3, I am emulsifying these pieces and if you can notice that my chopper is still but these pieces are so soft that you don't really require chopper to chop it again and with the help of power, with some amount of energy, you can just emulsify these nucleus after lifting them into the central safe zone with the help of power and you don't require chopper to chop it again. So this is an advantage of a grade 2 cataract for beginners that what you require initially is to make a trench divide it mechanically into four pieces and then aspirate those pieces into the central safe zone and then with the help of your FACO probe in foot position 3 you give minimal power in pulses maybe and then you can emulsify all the four pieces and now you can see the all the four pieces were emulsified now all what is left is just the cortical material which I will be aspirating with my irrigation and aspiration cannula and this is the bimanual irrigation and aspiration system wherein you just maintain your irrigation cannula at a place and with your aspiration cannula you just aspirate those pieces I mean just peel those pieces actually towards the center and then aspirate because if you are catching the capsule you will feel the resistance so if you have a intact rexis the chances of rexis getting caught the chances of capsule getting caught 
into the aspiration cannula is actually minimal and whatever you are holding is probably the cortex so peel it towards the center and then aspirate and in case you feel any resistance then you are holding the capsule just hold on for a while check whether it's the cortex or it's the capsule and if you will follow these steps your irrigation and aspiration will be very easy and then if you find some remnant still attached to the capsule go to the polishing mode and polish your capsule gently the settings are vacuum 10 and aspiration 10 and with this you can gently polish your capsule and remove those remnants because these remnants can be a source of posterior capsular opacification later on. I always do hydro implantation of lens in my cases and whatever visco that comes in with the IR implantation generally what happens is that visco is immediately expelled out through the side ports because the irrigation port is in place with continuous irrigation and whatever visco that enters the interior chamber is actually removed and you really don't require any need for visco wash and once see IL implantation is done the IL is in the back all you do is the closure of your wounds so hydro implantation of lens actually saves time as well and it is pretty safe for any queries you can email me at ashishmitra14 at gmail.com or you can subscribe me on youtube at ashishmitra14 Thank you for watching this video.